Anyway, on YouTube you something. call it an unboxing video. Yeah, 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 your yeah, voice unboxing. is on YouTube, Malte. Or going to be. Anyway, so um, here we have um, a really interesting piece of marine uh, research. What we have in this sturdy box is called a CTD. A CTD is a set of sensors and it, got, it gets its name from C as in conduct, uh, conductivity, uh, T as in temperature, and D as in depth. So basically, um, these are the basic measurements of, of these uh, sensor sets that are used in uh, marine, marine research. But uh, they usually are configured with many more sensors. So um, we have this uh, titanium container, which inside has uh, batteries that power the sensors. And it also, it powers the readout electronics that is contained also in, in the cylinder. The sensors that are on this particular CTD are turbidity or uh, transparency of the sea water. Then there is a conductivity sensor, so it measures the electrical conductivity of the sea water. Then here is a redox sensor. The other one is a pH sensor. This one is an oxygen sensor. It's very interesting. I'll return to that in a moment. This one is a temperature and pressure sensor. And this one here is a chlorophyll sensor. This one works um, on, um, uh, with the fluorescence spectrometry. So what it does uh, when you remove this cap, it basically is, uh, it shines a light right in front of it, and then it measures uh, the uh, fluorescent spectrum that it receives back and it looks for specific peaks uh, that will tell it the concentration of chlorophyll in the seawater. But uh, this oxygen, oxygen sensor is really, really interesting. So, um, uh, what it, uh, the, the principle of sensing is that it also uses uh, fluorescence in a specific way. Um, it uses inside, it has a um, uh, fluorescent material um, I don't know uh, exactly, but it's, it's, a, a, uh, it's a complex ion on which oxygen will attach. Now, uh, when it's shined with the light with a specific uh, wavelength, uh, depending on the concentration of oxygen, uh, the, the fluorescence will be higher or lower. But that is not actually what is measuring. What is measuring is the afterglow. So it will use a very short pulse of light and um, then it will measure how long the afterglow lasts. And the longer the afterglow, the, uh, higher, uh, the lower the concentration of oxygen, which makes this sensor quite uh, sensitive uh, and also at the same time very precise. So another thing to mention here about this sensor is uh, how it communicates um, with uh, how the data is, is read, read out. In principle, it can do logging inside or with this special uh, deep sea uh, cable, it will. Oh, I cannot remove. Oh, sorry. Okay, here. So um, here, it actually uh, can transmit the data, and it uses actually good old RS232 protocol to transmit the data from all the sensors. And um, you could also use the same cable to provide power, but this uh, particular unit has been configured with batteries so that it does not, it can be actually uh, on the bottom of the ocean or at any point in the mooring um, without any external, external power. So, that's it. But you didn't uh, actually, did you film me?